Are there any important technological unlocks that you still see on the horizon that not just Waymo, but the, you know, the industry of autonomy is still trying to solve? Think of a driver that's capable of this kind of tight traffic navigation. Yes. Lots of pedestrians and cyclists, but low speed of travel. That's where we are right now. Yes. Now imagine in Phoenix, 45 miles per hour, three lane, four lane streets, lots of oncoming traffic and being able to navigate that. Pretty much every good weather city is like a linear combination of those two things, right? So right. in Los Angeles, you kind of got to, the, the yeah, best of both worlds. Exactly. So when you go to West Hollywood, you are much more like a SF style driving, lots of pedestrians, cyclists, mm -hmm. and so on. You go to the LA's, uh, you know, more faster boulevards. It's a lot like Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So once you have solved these two, you just the AI is just much more generalizable. The second area I would say is making the simulator a lot better. Okay. I'll give you an example. We have you know, billions of miles of simulation in good weather. Yeah. If you want to test, how would we do in rain? Imagine being able to simulate rain so that you can take all the learnings in good weather, all the tough situations you encountered, and now test yourself in rain. What if rain was a complicating factor on top of that? Mm -hmm. What if I add a cyclist into that tough situation more? What if all these combinatorial questions, yep. being able to realistically simulate that, that's also a huge area. Is it one algorithm or, you know, let's say it is an extremely foggy day, it's a rainy day, you're yeah. in a new environment. Is it a different, slightly fine-tuned model based on different situations? Or is it all one aggregate that's just ingesting all of this information? It's um, definitely many, many deep uh, models, some very general, extremely deep learning models, and some specialized models to make them really good at some very hard tasks. Like, for example, understanding a pedestrian's intent is such a vast space. It's like understanding humans, I right? I know, and we're pretty like, hard uh, takes, to understand. It takes us a lifetime to understand ourselves. Uh, so understanding human uh, behavior and motion, there could be specific models. Mm -hmm. uh, there could be end-to-end -end models on just driving like a a good citizen, uh, polite to other riders, being um, you know comfortable to riders' preferences. That can be a very uh, you know end-to-end -end model as well. So it's a mix of this, and there's AI at every layer of the stack, from perceiving the world to predicting other people's behavior to the driving to the testing. So, yep. for example, the, you asked about fog. Uh, so what we try to do is we both observed how other people drive in fog but also okay. try to reason about how well can we see in fog. So if this fog mm. were to get a lot denser, the appropriate thing to do is I can't see that far, so I shouldn't be driving as fast as I would normally do. Yes. So that kind of learning uh, is, is built in into multiple layers of the stack as well. The high level concept of AI may be easy to understand, but really the breakthrough engineering that you sometimes need in AI is just having the raw infrastructure to intake all this data. The amount of data you have to learn to handle to build a really mm -hmm. you know, well-learned al algorithm is, is pretty hard. Well, and that's where Google's infrastructure that uh, we have that worked sense. with, you know, um, machine learning investments that Waymo and Google did 12 years ago, 13 years ago, is beginning to pay off in a manner that's uh, pretty hard to you know, just uh, get there. So yeah. that's a mode as well. That's actually a great point because, I mean, we're, again, we're in a space where you need to react in milliseconds, right, right? right? And so you need to not just be able to train this algorithm, but to interpret live yeah. and process that information yeah. live. This will be interesting. Yeah, There's yeah. a bunch it's of- a whole uh, ocean of cyclists game. here. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. It went around a double park truck. And look and at you them. See it They're like, detect. they don't know what to- <laughs> Yeah, look at all of them. We, we're telling you who are we waiting for. <laughs> see, they just pointed yeah. inside. <laughs> Look at that. We can detect all of them. We're giving you feedback that we yeah, can see Yeah, you can all literally sense every single yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, and them coming around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Oh.